it is. It is a zero the hero day. If we were in school right now, which we're not, but if we were, it would be the 180th day of kindergarten. 180 days. Yes. So if you've been listening to my story every day, mm -hmm, which you should, or if you've been doing little activities that I keep sending home every day, which you should, then essentially you've done 180 days of school. Yeah, it's a zero the hero day. So here you go. Zero the hero, zero the hero, 180 days. Woohoo! Why is that a big deal? Because 180 days is an average school year size. Uh huh. Uh huh. So if you were in public kindergarten right now, you'd be 180 days in. Yes. Mm -hmm. So do you know what that means? What does that mean? Graduation! Yes. And now we're coming into the home stretch and we're preparing ourselves for graduation. So if you've done kindergarten with me this year, it should entitle you to a full year, assuming you've been in my class for a full year, of kindergarten. I know, it's cool. So anyways, Zero, do you know what today is? It's also a special holiday. Do you know what it is? You don't know what it is? It is National Limerick Day. <laughs> I know, do you know what a limerick is? You don't? Well, a limerick is a poem where the first two lines rhyme, Mm -hmm. And then the second two lines rhyme, and they're usually shorter in beat. And then the last line rhymes with the first two. For example, <clears throat> There once was a man from Peru who dreamed he was eating his shoe. He awoke in the night with a terrible fright, for his dream he realized had come true. <clears throat> I know it's silly. It, 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 it's a limerick. It's a limerick. So, practice writing limericks today, just for fun. It's fun. It's a great thing. Yeah. Da 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 That's the rhythm of a limerick. There's an er in limerick. Er. Pirate sound. Er. Yeah. All right, friend. I'm going to go read a book now, on this 180th day of virtual kindergarten. Is that okay with you? Is that okay with you? Okay. All right, you sit over here. Be polite. What about me? Shh, be quiet. You're taking a nap. Cindy's interrupting again. All right, here we go. Is the spaghetti ready? Hey, do you notice any rhyming words in the title of my book? Is the spaghetti ready? Yes, spaghetti rhymes with ready, but look. They're not spelled the same at all. They're not spelled the same, they can't rhyme. They can too rhyme because they sound the same. It's okay, they don't have to be spelled the same to sound the same at the end. Rhyming words are tricky like that. Cat rhymes with hat, hog rhymes with dog. Yeah, they're spelled the same, but sometimes, is the spaghetti ready? Sometimes words don't spell the same and yet they rhyme. It's amazing. The world is a funny place. The English language is a funny thing. Is the Spaghetti Ready by Frank B. Edwards and John Bianchi. I don't know, I think it's Italian. All right, are you ready? Here we go. This is also one of those funny little reader series. So if you can find this, this online, there are other books in the series. Look at the cover, isn't that cute? I love the illustrations. It's a chef. Have you been doing a lot of cooking while you're in quarantine? Yeah, me too. It's going to make me fat. Is the Spaghetti Ready? Written by Frank B. Edwards, illustrated by John Bianchi. And it's from somebody's school library, but they blacked it out. Ooh, look at this. A zoo menu. Ooh, menu. Ooh, zoo. Ooh, oh. Huh. Fruit. Mm, there's another ooh, 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 fruit, um, hmm. bugs, uh oh, no thank you, I'm full, leaves, grass, french fries, hot dogs, spaghetti, and pizza, hmm, what's your favorite thing on the menu, it's not bugs, no, Cindy, what's your favorite thing on the menu, bugs, of course, she likes the bugs, she's a carnivorous centipede from Brazil, mm hmm, 
I am hungry. When can I eat? Oh. You could read this book with me. It's very predictable. Watch. Here is your food. Now go to the table. What's he having? Spaghetti! We are hungry. When can we eat? Look at that. He's even got his plate ready. Like he's wearing a bib. <laughs> Here is your food. Now go to the table. Hmm. I bet you can read that sentence now. Here is your food. Now go to the table. We are hungry. When can we eat? Oh. Who do you see now? Giraffe, ostrich, a snake. I better know what they're having. <laughs> Spaghetti! Here is your food. Now go to the table. You can read this with me if you'd like. Mm -hmm. Ooh, here we go again. We are hungry. When can we eat? Which one of these sentences is a question? Yeah, this one's a question because it has a question mark. You're right. Hmm. Ready? Here is your food. Now go to the table. Oh, why are you not eating? We are waiting for you. Oh, <laughs> how polite. Is it polite to wait for the person who has served everyone else to come to the table? Maybe you practiced that on Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. It's kind of rude to sit down and start eating when Mother hasn't sat down to eat with you or whoever is serving you. Maybe Dad is the cook at your house. It's polite to wait for Dad to sit down too. Yeah. Now we can all eat together. Oh my. The spaghetti is ready, Freddy. And <laughs> oh, who's doing the dishes? Is it the same one who, who served the spaghetti? No, it's not. Someone else is doing the dishes. Well, that's very polite. If you're the one to cook and serve, you shouldn't have to clean up. No, someone else should do the dishes. Do you share chores at your house? You do? You can make a chore chart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can put everyone's name on the chart, and assuming they're big enough and strong enough to do the same chores, you can make a list of chores, mm -hmm. and a list of people in the family, mm -hmm. and then you can move the symbols for each day so that everyone gets a turn to do the chores. Maybe it's someone's turn to serve, maybe it's someone else's turn to clean, maybe it's someone else's turn to do the dishes. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's someone else's turn to plan the meal. Yeah, you can help. You're a big kid now. All right, friends. I hope you enjoyed my Is the Spaghetti Ready? Go have fun. Go have fun learning and reading and finding patterns in the world. Love you the most. Have a good day. Hey, go look for my other videos. Mm -hmm. I got lots of books to read. Bye, guys. Love you.